Welcome to this integrated math 3 practice test for 10 ready. Question number 14. The probability of rolling n on a six sided number cube is 1 out of 6. Yep. Uh, which result is not consistent with the model for getting n? And we're going to assume n is probably like if you have a die, which is the singular of dice, by the way. Um, it's one of the numbers, any of them. This is a very generalized question. It says which result is not consistent with the model. It doesn't define what that means. Um, we don't have to use necessarily a chi-square test or anything. So your best bet is to look to see what's possible in terms of in larger numbers if it makes any sense. Um, just because it's supposed to happen one out of six times does not mean that it will happen one out of six times if you just do it six times. Think about the statistics of larger numbers. Eventually everything, if you have a one out of six chance, it will move that direction. But it doesn't prevent you from getting multiple things at, in a row. So we're going to look at that and see if we've limited ourselves to a number of throws, if, it makes, if it's reasonable, and if we've left it open, is it possible to get where we're trying to go? The first uh, choice, choice A, is the student gets in four times in a row. Now, it doesn't say that out of so many throws, it just says that uh, they get four in a row. And if you rolled it 50 times, it's not unlikely you get four. If you rolled it 10,000 times, it's very likely you will get four times in a row. The more you do it, the longer stream, uh, the longer you can string together the same number over and over again. So this is consistent with the model. Because we haven't limited ourselves to a number of throws, and we don't, the student just may love to do that, just roll one die over and over again. What a life to live. Um, B, the student does not get in in four throws. That's actually clearly consistent with the model. It's only going to happen one time. It doesn't say it's the first time. It could happen on the fifth time, the sixth time, or just average itself out. So this is consistent with it because it's, again, not limited, um, or it limits itself to four throws, which is less than the possible number. So if it just ha has to happen once, it certainly still can. The student gets in 12 times in 60 throws. Well, it's a good idea here for me to do an analysis of this fraction and see what it reduces down to. Now, anybody can reduce a fraction. I mean, 6 goes into both 2 over 10. Uh, but the calculator will do it too. I don't know if you, some people don't know. But if you have a T84 Plus with some of the newer um, software on it, if you hit alpha and y equals, or you could just change it into, um, you could just do 12 divided by 60 hit enter and do change to fraction by going to math and then just looking at it. Um, on the other side of it you could do ma alpha y equals and you actually have a fraction menu there. So one-fifth is my reduced fraction because I had it down to two-tenths which reduces down to one-fifth. This six goes into it twice and then goes into this ten, that whole thing. So that's pretty close to 1 6. It's not exact. But what about 12 out of 200? What's that look like? So let's just do a comparison of the two models. Because this is pretty close. If we did more throws, we could probably get it to be here. It's just that we happen to be heavier on actually making it happen than um, it would be in the larger scheme of things. So if I do 12 divided by 20, helps if I turn on the thing I can actually use a calculator with a step in the right direction. Three out of fifty. See, that's a horse of a different color. It doesn't happen much at all. Now eventually, in the largest of things, it would probably move back towards the model because that's how uh, that sort of thing works. But in this case, it's not consistent with the model that it will be one out of six because in order to get there with this small of a number, we'll have to do plenty of more trials. And we already did the most trials of any of our sets um, that we specifically defined trials. So the answer to number 14 is D. Without giving you a specific criteria for what's consistent to the model is, you just have to use, does it seem likely that it could come back to it in a normal amount of time? This is definitely possible because it doesn't restrict us. This is possible because it creates a solution uh, or a situation in which we haven't even met the criteria of our probability yet. We haven't even rolled it six times.
This one's okay because one fifth is pretty close to one sixth, specifically compared to three over fifty, which is a big uh, movement away from that one over six. But I think if they rolled it enough times, they'd find it. Roll it ends up being closer to one over six uh, as time goes on.